What's going on guys? Spooky and Spirit Lab here. Hip up here and today it is one of the biggest things it's one of the biggest things ever. It's finally it's time for me hey, to make the big decision for my five for, for one more animatronic I'm going to buy before I before I take a big break and, and kick off of buying the new animatronic for 2021. Which means I'm planning on buying one one new path one more past animatronic before I eventually, I'm eventually kick off and, and leave on buying the the old ones and buy the upcoming ones for 2021 so that's why this is called a big decision so i'm going to make my the biggest decision ever on which animatronic i I'd actually buy so i'm going to be giving you each of the animatronics one by one and seeing this video uh oh and there's a few rules one the animatronics that are, are that seeing this video are the only animatronics you have to vote for no animatronics that have seen this video do not vote for the animat for an animatronic that's not seeing this video hideo hideo be, uh, only vote for the animatronics that you see in this video. Video. And that's basically it. Basically it. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you each animatronic on screen one by one and tell you why I wanna buy the animatronic. Huh, Hanuk, Hanuk. And then I'll and then at the end when I when I get done talking about him, I'll put the link in the script I'll put a poll in the on the description and uh, I think uh, I think I actually yeah, I already did that. Yeah, yeah, but there will be a poll in the description, and you can actually vote of which animatronic I should buy for my final big decision before I kick off of buying the new twenty twenty one animatronics, Hun Hunnics. But and let me tell you, there is only gonna be one animatronic that I am going to buy, just one. So so this means whoever animatronic gets the most votes will be the animatronic I will buy and finally be the kid. Kick off to the final game of buying the animatronics before I kick off of buying the new 2021 animatronics. Hunnics. So whoever animatronic gets the most votes, the animatronic I'll buy. But here are all the animatronics. I'm gonna go for each of them, seeing this video one by one, and tell them why I want to buy them. So here we go. So first off, we got the Towering Sweet Dreams Clown. Now the reason why I want to buy this animatronic, well, for, I wasn't really intentionally on getting this one. However, I looked at him closer and found out that he's actually a pretty good looking animatronic. So the reason why I want to buy this one is because he's pretty good looking. And so far, I haven't had another clown animatronic, so I uh, had another animatronic. So that's why there are a few clowns in this video. That because you know, the only clown I have right now is Mr. Salty. So I'm thinking about getting another clown animatronic. But like again, the reason why I want to buy this guy is because he looks so awesome as a clown. Also, I like I like the way his shoes look. His shoes look pretty good, and I love the fact that he and I kind of like the fact that he's carrying a kidnapped child who's screaming, aiming, begging for help, begging for help, help. And I also like the f and also uh, the cl uh, uh, is it just me or the clown actually kind of looks like Jeff the Killer in my opinion, but just as a clown. I don't know. It's more like a twist. No, he's he's more he's more like a twisted Jack guy. But anyway, I really like the way this guy, I, I, I this guy looks. He looks amazing. He looks absolutely freaking terrifying. I, 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 so I so I think this might be a pretty good a, a clown and Machago. I'm, I'm gonna plan on getting hitting thing because with his with his long back hair and his terrifying appearance and its long on legs with its black shoes at the bottom i'm um this is one of the animatronics i'm gonna be planning on getting so coming up next we have the run ringmaster Esther. Now I'm going to be getting the Cage Clown one, not the Kidnap Child one, because the Kidnap Child version of the Animatronics is a little bit off in my opinion. I like the Cage Clown one better, but the reason why I like it is because I I really like his voice. His voice sounds really good. It it it, it sounds like he's actually hosting a ter a show that's graphic for children. And I love the fact that he's wearing a top hat and and wearing a a circus suit. With carrying a clown with a cage hound inside of a cage, I will. I personally like the like this animatronic. On it, this this animatronic is pretty, looks pretty good in my opinion, and there was just one of the anim, one of the animatronics I want to buy. All right, coming up next, we have Smiling Jack. Heck, okay, okay now, now this animatronic is actually actually one that I don't really feel like getting if I was just choosing you know, if I was just choosing need to get one all by myself out of the element animatronics. But he, but hey, I'm actually gonna say this. If the animatronic gets the most votes as the animatronic, I'm not really a big fan of, but I will still buy that one. However, the reason why I chose this as one of them is that I actually like the fact that it's like a pumpkin version of Rusty and it lifts his shovel up 
up and up and it's laughing maniacally. It, it, it looks pretty good in my it actually does make it look pretty decent in my opinion. Also, I, I think this might be good for a candy animatronic because well this get he has a candy bowl and you can put candy in it. I think he make good on the porch this year. That's just this year. If I feel like putting him on the porch this year, I don't know. Sorry. But <laughs> right. But but I I personally think that getting think that he looks pretty decent. I don't really I'm not really a big fan of this guy because well, he's not really that special in my opinion. I just like the I just really just like I just like like this guy. I just I just like that he's a pumpkin animatronic who's who lets to shovel up to the air when he gets into the candy bowl. It's like Rusty, just like a pumpkin. I, and I already said that. Uh, but, but but and complete and and I actually do like. This animatronic a little bit more than the rusty version, so if this helps, so like again, I'm not really a big fan of this animatronic, but if it, if an animatronic gets the most votes in the animatronic, I'm not really a big fan of. I will still buy the animatronic. All right, so next up on my animatron on my big decision list, we have the Candy Creep. Now, fun. This was actually the first animatron that came to mind while I was thinking about making one more big choice. Big choice. Have the and the reason for that is he I he make pretty good for a candy animatronic just handing out candy and I think in a candy bowl in front of him would be perfect. It would be perfect handing out a candy bowl in front of him. It's like he's giving out candy and about to whack someone on the head with a big hammer beh hammer behind them. It's like a creepy old man giving out candy. I, I really love this animatronic. I, again, I, I like everything about it. Just like it's giving out candy and it's carrying a big hammer behind him. And it, it looks pretty good in my opinion. And I like the fact that it's like an old man. And, and so yeah, this is a pretty good one. Now coming up next, we have the Crouching Grave Digger. Digger. Now I really like this one because the way he's crouching and he's, say, and he's saying he's going to show you to... The gravesite is just pretty. Is it's just pretty. Is really good in my opinion, and I like the fact that it's carrying a shovel. And the way it looks is just incredible. I actually love the way it looks. The way he looks is just phenomenal. 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 Techie really did did a really good job with this one. I mean, Techie's kind of like the infamous company to most people. People, but I, I don't really have a problem with Techie in my opinion. But the crouching grave digger looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I and I, I and I, this is definitely one I, I I do feel like getting. And he has one of the big animatronics on my final decision. Vision. So yeah, that uh, that's the crouching grave digger. Now coming up next, we have the Jemmy Freddy Krueger. Now this one's kind of ridiculous to most of you guys, mainly due to the fact that there are a lot of people who don't really like this animatronic. So I highly doubt this animatronic is gonna get his uh, some votes. But the reason why I like this animatronic is because I actually like well, it's like a Freddy Krueger animatronic, and it's like and it's like, and it's like um just giving out some really scary praises and. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. The re about it. The main reason I why I want to get this one is just that, that well, he's Freddy Krueger, and that's pretty much it. Now coming up next, we have Lord Dakavenger. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I I really feel like buying this one. This one looks really good in my opinion because I like the fact that it's hanging, uh, that you can actually hang it, and it says that it's going to suck your blood. It's like a vampire bat animatronic, and the way it looks is just looks pretty. It look it just looks great in my opinion. And its voice sounds so great. And only a person would be a pretty enjoyable experiment to have. So that's why I want to feel like getting this one. Now coming up next, we have Man's Possessed Friend, also known as Bubba. Now unfortunately, this... This animatronic is is one I don't I I'm not I don't really feel like getting if I had a choice of choosing one, but like again, who if that animatronic who gets the most votes is one I don't really feel like getting, I will still get that animatronic. The reason why I like this one is because well he actually does look pretty cute in my opinion, and that's just about it. I he he looks so cute and that's why I want to buy him. Now, coming up next, we have Experimental Eddie. Now, this is a really good one I really want to get. This is pretty much really high on 
and and, the, and, and how much I want to get him. I really want to get this guy. I love the fact that he's getting electrocuted and he's moving all the way on control B. And the way he looks is just amazing. He looks absolutely scary and looks amazing. His eyes are about the same as Torture Charcho. I'm not really a big fan of Torture Charcho, though. Experimental Eddie, he just looks it's, it's cool. Well, he is just amazing to look at. That's why I really want to buy this guy. So I highly recommend you vote for this guy because this guy is just amazing, in my opinion. Now, next up, we have Miserable Mary. There is actually a few reasons why I want to buy this animatronic. One, and she looks pretty... The way she looks is pretty good. I like the fact that she's like a slow version of the Twitching Banshee. Two, I, oh, I like the way she looks. Like, she looks... Her face looks pretty crazy. And she looks pretty cool. And three, I actually like the fact that she's made by... That she's actually made by, um... Woo Yu Plastic Products, the same company that made Nightmare Harvester and and the two twenty eighteen Michael Myers, Earth. So I really think getting this her would be a pretty good choice. But and so I pretty much think she would really good, pretty good in my haunted house this year. So I, that's why I, I pretty much feel like getting this one because this one just looks really amazing in my opinion. All right, up next we have the Guardian of the Grave. Now, unfortunately, unlike the other animatronics on this list, this guy is unfortunately really close to being sold out. There are only three cells of this guy that are that are, that are left. Seth so, heft. So I'm I so I'm a little bit nervous that this guy is gonna be sold out. But however, don't worry, guys. If this guy does get sold out, then I'll just buy the set the second highest ranked animatronic, honic of on uh, uh, ranked by viewers. Of who, what I should get, but I re but, but the guardian of the grave looks pr he looks pretty cool in my opinion. He looks and he's, he's like a classic. He's like rising up for the grave. It says some really haunting phrases. They have a pumpkin version of animatronic and uh and a gatekeeper version of animatronic. But this is this, he looks this the, this classic one. He looks pretty good. This is why I feel like getting this one. However, I'm I, I don't know because he's actually like I said he's getting really close to being sold out. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting this one. Well, but we'll have to see. But he still looks really cool. Now coming up next, we have Twisted Jack. The reason why I want to buy this one is because I love the fact that he. He his his voice sounds pretty good. His phrases are really scary, and and I love the fact that he snatches one of his arms back, like straight at you, like he's almost clawing at you. Even though this is just an animatronic, of course it's not real. He's not actually clawing at you. I feel like getting this one because he looks pretty cool. So, well, so yeah, this is another one I want to buy. Now, now up next we have Waving Wally. Now I know what you're thinking. This animatronic is sold out. Well, I know he is. However, I actually found him on eBay, and he yeah, he actually has a really good deal. Just like a twenty some two hundred something, just two something something. I forgot. But uh, but uh, the reason why I want to buy this one is because as uh, this this clown looks really amazing. This is one of my favorite clowns of all time. The way he's waving his arm and the way he looks like a freaking human being. He looks like a freaking human being, which is crazy. And I love the fact that he's act and I love his voice too. His voice sounds pretty creepy and chilly in my opinion. I love the way he looks. He just and the way he looks, he looks amazing. And the no the way his nose glows is pretty good too. So I'm planning on getting this one from eBay. So eBay eBay so I don't really know if he'll get sold out or not. But however however there but however this guy is a really good animatronic which I want I'm gonna be planning on getting him. Now, coming up next, we have another really good one. The Creepy Towering Clown. There are a lot of reasons why I want to buy this guy. Hey, the way he looks is really... He looks is just phenomenal. His face looks really creepy. His hands look amazing. amazing. His shoes look pretty cool. The, whole, well, the way he looks is really amazing. His voice sounds pretty chilling. chilling and and it's, like, it's like he's an old man clown. And I... Uh, a clown. He's really tall. So... Uh, Oh, which look which is nice. Ace Ace and the and his taunting phrases are really cool. And his music, the soundtrack, I don't really count the soundtrack, but his soundtrack sounds really haunting. Haunting look it sounds really creepy. So that's why I'm planning on getting creepy towering clowns, which is why I'm planning on getting him. He is awesome. He's a really good one. 
And finally, the final one on the list is the Towering Werewolf. I, I do feel like buying this one because I like the fact that he's just like Towering Clown, but it's a wolf. And, and the way it towers out at you, it was pretty cool. But I love the way he looks. So his look is the, is the best look. He looks... Oh, he looks amazing. The his, sh his shirt looks good. His face looks good. His pants look good. His feet and arms look good. His hands look good. It's he, it, he, he, his looks look amazing. So that's why I'm planning on buying this guy. So yeah, that's all my Amber Charms. I'm planning to get as one big decision as in of one final unboxing unboxing before I before I kick off buying the new 2020 ones. Which so which so the one animatron that gets the most votes that will be the animatron that I'll most likely buy. Hi. Hi. And alright, so just one quick announcement. Announcement and, and um what am I, hold on, I kinda of forgot. Oh, oh oh yeah, um voting will end on on, on April 5th. Voting begins now and it ends on April 5th. I was originally going to plan on buying one of these guys on, on Easter. However, I'm just switching it to April 5th. So, only one animatronic will be the one that I will buy. So, there will be a poll in the description. You can vote for which animatronic I should buy. Yeah, I, but not only that, there had, had the link will be in the description. And there will be you know, some vi links to the videos of each of the animatronics in the description below, so you can see what each of them look like. Uh, look like to see if they look good or not. Hut, hut. So the animatronic will get the most votes. The one that I will buy. Voting begins now and will end on April fifth. And which animatronic will get the most votes? The one that I will buy. So that is it for today's video. Video, but do not leave yet. But uh, there's one more announcement. So I actually have an original channel called Chase the Stick Figure. Figure. I post amazing uh, content there. Are there out there? I have dealt with some hate based with people before. How? How? Go check it out. It, look, it looks pretty cool. Oh, oh. Well, it's my main. It's one. It's my main channel, and that's just. It just looks cool. But that's it for today's video. I'll see you all next time. Peace.